episode three. Oh my god. That's a trip. It's a trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Anything that's three is a trilogy. Whatever. <laughs> You feel fulfilled? I feel very fulfilled. I feel like we're doing something good here. I feel like it's a good start. I feel like it's a good start. Tell your friends. Yeah, oh please, yes. If you like it, if you enjoy it, just give it a share. Like that shit. Sir Austin fucked up. Yeah. You talked about on the last episode that you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. That was your first was that the first place you announced it was on the podcast? It was. So shout outs to the Nora's Eyes. Um, um, shishars, but I gave y'all first, first dibs, okay? Right. and so then, was it yesterday that you posted on Instagram about it? Yes, sir, yesterday. Yesterday with the 4th of July. 4th of July, the fireworks in Colorado were absolutely insane. Anyways, Kanye's running for president, <laughs> yes, or so he, he says. I don't believe he will. Do I don't you? Be- no, it's like when yeah. he announces that he's gonna release an album next week, and then it doesn't come out if it either doesn't ever come out or it does at least doesn't come out on time do you want to talk about is the internet toxic sure why not let's dive into it my theory of uh one of the major causes of depression my theory is i believe that truth is the ultimate goal Mm -hmm. and the most important value or whatever you want to call it that's what we need to strive towards. That's what we need to base things upon. And that's what we need to seek. Sashi Miyamoto was like... Who? Or Miyamoto Musashi. Uh, yeah. So the question is, what happens when you choose to live a lie? Well, I, will, I feel like you've seen it firsthand. When you are not honest about who you are or what you are, when you're not honest about uh, expressing yourself honestly and truthfully, the necessary consequence of that is going to be depression. Living a lie is not supposed to feel good. It's supposed to get you fucked up. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing is living the truth. But I, I, if you watch my videos, you probably don't go that far back. And so as far back as you go, most people, they just see like the era of where we went to the mosque all the time, where Asif was super religious. I was never super religious. And that's a big reason why I felt like I couldn't be myself either because I always got in trouble for I always got in trouble for shit that I either said online or did because they watch my stuff. So glad that you saying that is on camera right now. Asif, I'm never letting you forget that. Anytime we have a fight, I'm gonna have a recording of this audio clip. Asif is such a hoe sometimes. <laughs> now that you feel like you're being more authentic. And you don't feel like you have to like pretend to be a good role model. Ah! Uh, how has like has have these new videos that we put up as podcasts felt different yeah. than the videos you put up before? Yeah, like I don't even want to touch my YouTube my other YouTube channel. I mean, I need to go and break the ice there too. My ten year high school reunion was supposed to be this year. I I was probably not gonna go because that the tickets were seventy five. For what? Okay, you need to calm down, Smokey Hill. A bunch of jealous hoes ruining everything for everybody. That's the main problem <laughs> with most things. For for specifically women's bodies, because this is more of a issue that affects women, it seems like, than guys. Well, to you. I feel like that line is starting to get blurred these days. Well, I think all the lines are starting to get blurred these days, and I don't think that's a good thing. A woman's body... Like, a beautiful woman's body is a beautiful thing. What does that mean? A lot of hijab, but I feel like I already addressed that in the last one. And I'm kind of over that subject, to be honest. So I probably won't talk about it for another while. I'm over it. You guys aren't over it? How are you not over it? People are obsessed with image and nothing else. I know. I'm over it. Talk to us, Austin. Maybe you need to go first because... Why? Because I never think about stuff like that. Like I never think about retroactively the stuff in my past of if I would have done something different or could I have done something different. Really? Yeah, I never. You're lame. Suck us. So I don't know what the secret is. I think we're just better than everybody. No, (laughs) no. I'm gonna tell you what the secret is. I'll do it. I will for you privately if you want. Okay, but no. 
No? Okay, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> no, I mean, like, you should do it for all of us. Okay. My book was going to be a juicy tell-all. Are F you going to tell them? I think I'm talking about your brother specifically. <laughs> oh. If that's what's that important work. to you. No, that doesn't work. I don't see how it doesn't. <laughs> because we wouldn't be married if that's what I did. Oh, okay. I disagree. Oh, that, this, that goes into, like, one of... The questions here was like, what's the most important part of a relationship you think? Yeah. I feel like in our relationship, what's pissed me off all these years? Like, I think we just blasted to this point by some kind of miracle. I thought it was because love conquers all. Well, it? maybe love is a miracle. You cannot be friends with people from the opposite sex. Asif, sir, is in denial. You can't. Asif's friends with girls. He just is in denial himself. No, because I think like if you're a girl... Any dude that you think is your friend wants to hit. There's gonna be a few guys. My guy that are friends really... don't think like that. Well, there there's some betas then. <laughs> oh, who's coming for Asif? <laughs> <laughs> so what went wrong in our little beta relationship, sir? You look stupid. No, that's fine. Feel yeah. free. Feel free to look dumb. <laughs> See you guys next week. <laughs> Goodbye.